Ready? What's up guys, I'm John the Potter and welcome back to another pottery video. I'm so happy that you could join me today. We're not in the studio, but we are talking about packing and shipping pottery. One of the most intimidating things, I've been so intimidated by this for many, many years that I have shied away from it. But guess what, all these mugs are going up on Etsy. They're going up on Etsy right now, so when this video goes live, you can go check it out and buy any of these mugs if you want. But I'm gonna talk about how we pack and ship because you just, made all this beautiful pottery and it's so breakable. You don't want it to break. This is the best way, this is not the only way. Like you can bubble wrap the things, use one box and ship it like you would think. But we're gonna do the box inside a box method and this is 100% guaranteed that your pottery is not gonna break. So this is the best way possible. So I'm gonna show you how. We have, what we are using right now is we're gonna have a six by six by six box that we put the mug inside of. So we bubble wrap the mug, put it inside here, and then we have a 10 by 10 by 10 box that we have filled with peanuts. So this box of the mug goes inside of the other box. And this is how we're gonna ship. Let's do it. Got our mug. First thing we're gonna do is wrap that mug up in bubble wrap really good. Put some inside. Pour some inside. Want to make sure that the lip is really covered and we want to make sure that the handle is really covered. Those are the two things that are the most breakable. So we got that, take a piece of tape, tape that up, and then we want to make sure that we put this in here and then we just want to make sure that there's no like room for it to move around, right? That's the most important thing, is if everything is tight and there's no room for like the mug to be like, choo, 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 then you're not gonna have breakage. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more, just so it's nice and snug. Tape. So then that goes in there. You wanted to throw a few peanuts in there. Just put a few peanuts in there just to make sure that there is no extra space because that's the key. The key is that there's no extra space for anything to move around and it's nice and snug. This is also where you could put any marketing material. So we'll uh, throw a business card John the Potter business card in there. Boop. There's the, the little box. Now, would this be good enough to just put this in the USPS and send it? Maybe, maybe it would. Maybe isn't good enough for us. We wanna make absolute sure that there is no breakage ever. So, now we take our bigger box. and then we put peanuts in here. So then put a layer in the bottom there. We take our little box and put that in there. Make sure there's some space on the top for peanuts to fill as well. And once again, we wanna make sure that everything is nice and snug. And that there's some peanuts on top of there. Nice and snug, boom, boom, boom. There we go. This thing would be dang near indestructible. Ready? This is now eight feet in the air, we're dropping it. Okay, ready for this? I'm literally gonna toss this up in the air and have it land on the driveway to prove to you that it will not break. Ready?
All right, I think I've, I think I've chested it enough. Let's go see if it broke. One more, ready? <gasps> Look at how high that is. That was like literally 20 feet in the air. I hope it didn't break. All right, should we open it up and make sure it didn't break? card check it out good as new look at that I'm actually super happy that worked <laughs> uh, that was actually really fun I threw that thing like 20 feet in the air and it came down and that mug is good as new and that's how you know you packed and shipped it well. I think that's it. If you guys are interested in any of these mugs, I'll put in some pictures right now of the mugs that are going up on Etsy right now. This is be the last Etsy sale that I do of 2018. Um, and I can like almost guarantee you that it will be get to you before Christmas. I mean, I can't guarantee everything. I can't guarantee the USPS, but I will be shipped within days of when you order it. So you should get it by Christmas. The first Etsy sale like sold out within 24 hours. So go check it out. I, I have one, two, three, 10, 11, 12, 18, 19. 19 mugs that are going up. 19 of my, the best, the ones that I think are so good. Quick story, uh, one of the first big custom sets that I ever did, I did like 12, plates, like dinner plates, 12 bowls, 12 mugs. Um, I was a guy for a guy in Texas. And so I had to ship them there and I'd never shipped pottery before. And I thought like, oh yeah, they're, you write fragile on the box and they're, they're easy. They'll, they'll be okay. It'll be, they'll be easy on the box. Uh, no. So I like just wrapped them up in newspaper and put them in a box that like, you know, I was trying to save money stupidly. And I get an email from the guy Eight out of the 12 plates broke. My heart just like sunk. That was months and months of work. I actually went into, I, it's lucky that I didn't quit pottery after that because there was a few things that happened. All that stuff broke and I had a couple things that, like a bunch of stuff that was coming out warped and I couldn't figure out why. This was like five years ago and I just about said, I'm done, I quit pottery. Like after that whole set broke, that I shipped to Texas. So I remade it for the guy and I then I gave it to UPS and said, you pack it and ship it because they'll like guarantee that it gets there without breaking. Um, but there, it's also super expensive to ship it that way. So the best way to ship it is to do what I just did and then to bring it to the US Postal Service because I think it's about 10, if you're shipping it in the country, it's between 10 and 15 bucks for shipping in a box that size, 10 by 10. And you save a couple bucks if you're gonna go in a smaller box. But like for a couple bucks, it's really worth the peace of mind to like be like, this will not break. They can literally chuck it 20 feet in the air and it won't break. Go check out these mugs on Etsy. And I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday. Happy shipping and packing. I hope this helps you. Comment below, tell me how do you pack and ship your pottery or your stuff for the holidays? Do you do it with the two box method? Do you do it with the one box method? I've seen it done with the one box and it, I've done it with the one box and that works fine too. But this is just like the best. You don't wanna put a hard, okay, I'm rambling now. Sometimes I just get on a roll and I start rambling, you know what I mean? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share this video if someone else needs help pack, packing and shipping. Check me out on the Patreon, hit that bell button to be notified, bam! Just give that bell button up. A bump, fist bump, big old bump. Fist bump that bell. That's gonna be the thing. Fist bump that bell. And get ready, because we got so many more pottery videos coming. Thanks to all you subscribe, who leave me comments, like, it really makes a difference. I'll see you in the next video.